hi what if i say if you can own a vps server for the same price or cheaper than a shared hosting yes i am serious and i am not talking about any cheap hardwares and today i am going to show you how to set up a vps server with 8 gb ram and 200 gb ssd for just 500 rupees or 7 dollars a month let's look at the prices in godaddy for shared hosting shared hosting with unlimited website database and bandwidth the monthly cost would be 699 rupees or 8 dollar and coming to hosting er when you click a package and you will see the monthly rate 649 rupees or 8 dollar to get a package it allow you to host 100 website 200 gb ssd storage from today you can own a vps server that you can host unlimited website and you can install as many applications you want and when you require also you can host php python and node js application into that server so let's get a server so click the link in the video description and you will be redirected to the kondoba website you can find more cheaper plans in storage vps but we are going with cloud vps select the 6 dollar and 99 cent plan and and you can see the one time setup fee you can waive off that by selecting the one year plan if you if you choose 6 month it will reduce the setup fee but compared to other service the setup fee is only for one time and that may not affect our budget select a server location and storage you can choose ssd or mvme storage and select the os and give a root password then click next you have to fill up the sign up form i do have an account already so i am logging in after login i redirect to the checkout page i set my preferred payment method as paypal in my account already so it will automatically redirect me to paypal you have the option to use paypal still or credit card or debit card now the order is completed we have to wait some time for process the order for me it only took 15 minutes i received all my vps credential into my email go and download putty to access the ssh link in the description or you can use your inbuilt terminal for windows you can use powershell and for mac you can use terminal then enter the ip address it will ask your username type root and the password you can enter the password which you gave while making the order after you successfully logged in now you go to a panel website and click free install i will give the link for a panel in the description copy the command and paste in our terminal and enter yes please wait a minute to finish the installation copy and save the login details Now let's try to log in our control panel. You need to install the packages to setting our web hosting ready. I am I am choosing the Apache based package because most of the shared hosting comes with Apache. Wait some time to finish the installation. It may take up to 15 minutes. Once that ready, you can host unlimited website and database ftp etc most importantly we have an app store here so you can install applications by a single click you can host node.js python or php application here i am installing a one click one click wordpress installer to our server right now let's add a domain and connect dns i am going to add my domain 
linksland.com into it. Enter the domain name, create FTP and database if if you need it. And click create. You can create a WordPress website by using the WordPress deploy option. Now I have to add my DNS record into my DNS manager to point my domain to this server. So I am using Cloudflare. If you don't know what is Cloudflare and how to use it, you can check out my another video. Link in the card. If you are using any other domain providers, you have the option to edit the DNS records in your domain control panel. I am adding an error code to point the domain to the server. You can use at the rate or the website name and the IP address and the IP address here and save it. Check the website. Yes, it's live. Let's go and edit something. Yes, it's working fine. I will show you how to access the database. Go to database and click PHP my admin and login using the username and password. Then you are good to go. If you have any doubts related to this, you can post in our forum. Link in the description. Hope this video will help you to get a VPS app and running. And thank you for watching this video. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel to get more videos like this. And thank you. We'll see you in the next one.